you have not created a twerking Snapchat lens, can you still call yourself a lens creator? It turns out you can, but if you want to be the best of the best, it's right of passage. But it's super easy to do. Let me show you. The first thing you'll need is a 3D model. Now you can go somewhere like Turbo Squid or Free3D. You can buy one or find a free one, or you can model one yourself. Either way, you need to end up with your model in the FBX format. Now these websites, usually you can download your model in FBX format. Um, if not, open it in your 3D software and there should be an export to FBX option. Once you've done that, head over to Mixamo.com, uh, create a free account if you haven't already, and go ahead and log in. Now you'll see a bunch of example animations over here on the left and a little preview here on the right. So what we'll want to do is upload our own character. So go ahead and grab your file, drag and drop. And now this will open up a little wizard to guide us through a few steps to prepare our model for all of the Mixamo animations. Okay, now once that wizard finishes and you can see your character kind of looking around, hit next, it will load here and we're ready to add our animation. So you can go through and add any animation you want, but since this is the twerking tutorial, we're going to search for twerk. And there is our result. So let's select it. Now our alien is dancing. All right, so a few issues. You can see that the hands are going through the legs. So to fix that, you can adjust this character arm space. So I know a value of about 70 works good for this model. Uh, feel free to adjust it up and down as needed for whatever your model is. Now there is this kind of like intro dancing and this ending dancing. Um, I don't want that in the final lens, but uh, we can't fix that necessarily very well here in Mixamo. So just go ahead and download your character and then head over to your 3D software and we'll um, adjust the animation to remove that beginning and end part. Okay, so I'm here in Blender. Now this is not a Blender tutorial, so I'm not gonna go over all the exact specifics of how to do what I'm doing. I'm just gonna explain what to do. So I'm playing my animation here, and you can see here we have this intro dance, then we get into the twerking part, and then after that we have this little outro section. Now I don't want the intro and outro sections, so I'm gonna trim my animation down. So I know that starting at frame 173 and ending at frame 323 is pretty good. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So if we watch our animation, we see we just have the twerking, but each time we get to the end and we loop back, there's a little jump. That's because the ending and the beginning don't exactly match. Now, when I chose my frames, I chose some frames that ideally would match pretty well, but there's a little bit of cleaning up and smoothing that we need to do, but it's pretty easy. So I'm just going to zoom in a little more. And I'm going to delete some of these key frames here at the end, just so I have a little bit of space to work with. And then I'm going to copy the first frame so frame 173, I'm going to stick that here at the end. All right, so let's zoom back in at the end. And you can see between the two keyframes, uh, we're roughly in the same position, but not quite. We just need to smooth that transition out. So I'm just going to drag this keyframe over a little bit. Um, I'm going to put it at frame 327. I'm going to put my end frame to 326. Now this, this keyframe here, if we remember, I copied that from the first keyframe. I don't want to end on that because I'm going to start on it and there'll be a little pause. So I want it to come just after the end of my animation. That's because if we step through, um, once we get to frame 326, the next frame would be 327. But since I'm ending at 326, we loop back to frame 173 and we pick up right where we left off. So take your copy of the first keyframe, put it right after the end. And now if we play this, it loops a little better. 
Now it's not perfect. We could always go in and adjust um, the individual joints of our model. We could play the spacing or choose a different beginning or ending keyframe, but this is pretty good. So we have this um, more seamless transition. It's not quite seamless. It's pretty good though. So once you are happy with this, go ahead and export uh, your model with the animation as an FBX file and head over to Lin Studio. All right, so here in Lin Studio, I uh, usually I start with the new blank project, but in this case, I'm going to start with the template. So come over to the templates and you can either find it here, animated object, or you can click up here and search. But this is one we want, an animated 3D dancing object. All right, so we have our template open. I'm going to go ahead and start by importing my model. Okay, once that's imported, I'm going to expand this um, import thing open. I'm going to grab the one with the box with the letter P. I'm going to drag that up into here. It's nested under this world object controller. And then I'll delete the red panda. All right, so here's the alien. It's a little big. I'm going to select this, change the scale. But you might notice something really weird going on over here in the preview panel. Now, uh, sometimes maybe if you're starting with a model that had a different animation, or maybe it comes from your 3D software, whatever the reason, sometimes you end up with these separate animation clips or layers on your model. So if you have multiple, all we have to do is disable all the rest. Now, I'd say you can assume this bottom one is the most recent animation that you added. So just start by disabling all the top ones and make sure that everything looks good with the bottom one. All right, so we can see our model dancing, but we have that beginning and ending uh, dance part that we didn't want before. So for whatever reason, when I exported from Blender, it didn't restrict it to just uh, frames 173 to 326. So I have to set it manually here. So I'll change the range type to frames Go from 173, 326, and now my animation is working as expected. You can see we have that little transition as we go from the ending to the beginning, but for the most part, it is pretty smooth. So at this point, uh, we have our model in here. It's animated, it's working great. Finishing touch, I'm going to select the mesh. I'm going to add a caster for the shadow mode. Just add the shadow to the environment, and now I'm good to go. Uh, because since this is a template, we can already click to drag and move it around. You put it on your phone, you can rotate it, scale it up. Everything's great. So thanks for watching. That is the tutorial. It's super easy to create these twerking lenses that for whatever reason are pretty popular. You just get your model, throw it in Mixamo, uh, trim down the animation if you want, load it into this template, and you are ready to submit.